save me, Moral. I'm Cher Burgundy, and this is the race of the rabbit and the hare. The whole world is congregated to witness this historic event. I don't know about you guys, but I fought for this event. Now we take it down to the field where Chip Dip McGuffey is with our race expert, Lisa Lagimore. Take it away, Chip. Thanks, Cher. I'm here with our local rabbit expert, Lisa Lagomorph. Lisa, what can you tell us about rabbits since you've been breeding them since the age of nine? Well, rabbits have a superior body type to most animals. Their legs are a lot longer, and it's easier for them to run and hop. So my bet is that the, ra the rabbit is going to win this race. The turtle, slow and steady, always wins the race. Back to you in the studio, Cher. All right, well, uh, that was interesting. I would like to say that I am also for slow and steady wins the race. We have, uh, we've contacted a race math expert, Ginger Fox. Take it away, Ginger. Uh, thanks, Cher. All right, I'm Ginger Fox, and I am the mathematician race expert here. Today, we're going to figure out mathematically who's going to win this race. So we've gathered some data, and we've found that the turtle, his system's equation is. That, when put back into these, so is that the rabbit will win the race. Back to you, Cher. Well, thank you, Ginger. I think it's a... It's, it's, it's great, that math thing you did. Yeah. All right. Let's go down to the Loretta at our telethon. Now you I'm Loretta Bobbins, here at the Command Center for our telethon. Today we're raising money to help support the endangered relatives of our racers, the Volcano Rabbit and the Pythagoras Tortoise. Both of these species are very endangered, and our goal is $50,000. Hopefully this will be able to save these species. Let's look, check in and see how, how well we're doing. So. How much have we raised so far? Uh, $40,000. $40,000. Wow. Almost there, guys. Keep calling. Hello? Oh, very generous. Thank you. Thank you. Call again. $40,010. Back to you, Cher. Hello, my name is Dr. Grubel McSchlickenheimer. Yeah. Today we will be comparing the anatomy of a rabbit and a turtle. Yeah. This is a rabbit. Yeah. See the flexible legs of the bunny. Yeah. And the flexible spine. Yeah. That makes the rabbit able to bouncy bounce. Yeah. He's very mobile. Yeah. Now let us look at the turtle. Yeah. Look at the pretty turtle. Look at the carapace, yeah. That's the name for a shelly thing, yeah. And if you look at the vertebrae, it's formed to a spine, yeah. And the spine is formed to the shell, yeah. And it's all turtly and stuff, yeah. And his legs are short and stubby, yeah. Like a little turtle, yeah. And 
that may, means the turtle can't move that well, yeah. So, all in all, the turtle most likely won't win, yeah. But he's still able to do turtley things, yeah. Back to you in the studio, yeah. Yeah. Things are starting to heat up down at the track. Looks like the race might be about to start. Let's take it down to Chip Dip with our coverage. Rabbit wins. Go Matrixes and Systems Huzzah. Now I'm here with our local rabbit export. Blah. Export. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shane. <laughs> 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 Don't forget. I didn't do anything. Lisa Megan Leganworth. <laughs> <laughs> Math awkwardness a la Anna, take one.